Hello, welcome back. This is episode, I'm not really sure, 13 or 12.1. Um, I decided to do two episodes today on two different stations rather than do an episode on a station and then do some detailing. Simply because I didn't think there was enough detailing to do yet um, to fit into one episode. Because sometimes I like those to be at least sort of half an hour long. Um, so what I thought I'd do is expand on... Um, on the mistaken metropolitan line that I spent the whole of the last episode calling the district and um, which I apologize for especially to those of you that are massively in your trains as we arrive into our makeshift Queen's Park here as we've got a Bakerloo train on the other line and ourselves on the Euston to Watford Junction line as well but what we are going to do today is look at West Hempstead West Hempstead or Hempstead um, and then take a look a bit further on with the Chilton line as well that comes out of um, Marleybourne, Marleybone, Marleybourne, Marleybone as well and expand that because I want to look to see uh, one of the stations I do want to fit in is Wembley. So we're going to take a look at the space that we can do that as well um, and see how much space we've got because we are running out of space down here and I want to fit in some sort of major sort of stations, major ones in terms of from a like viewing point of view you know that looks quite pretty and ones that are kind of junctions where we can transfer passengers and we have different lines going off everywhere the smaller ones we're never going to fit in we're never going to fit all the lines in we we already know that the the, the size of the map uh, as we are about to hit wilson junction here the smaller ones we're never going to fit in but the larger ones i'd really like to try my best to fit in it might be a bit of a squeeze we're going to have a look anyway um, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch switch cameras and take a look. So in the last episode, we hooked up this uh, Chilton line um, that uh, goes over the West Coast Main Line um, with the plan to put West Hempstead around about here, which I've already got a small station with a turn back facility on one line because I couldn't because I still can't get, as I keep saying, a, a decent sort of raised station that's curved to replace this part of the bridge. So we're leaving that like that. So what I've done is almost done a, a turn back, uh, a link here. So we have a, a train that uses this line and goes off to Watford Junction and uh, they can transfer here and here for that. But what we want to do is, and this, this is going to be really interesting because there's on West Hempstead, there's three, um, three stations and they kind of cross each other. I've also, I've already had a little play here, as you can see, um, but I'm not entirely happy with the depth I had to go with this line. So this is the furthermost uh, we're going to say most west uh station on the three and then there's in the middle we've got the the the, the, the uh, station that's um hooked up to this this is this one basically and it's a slight angle here but i am going to probably delete this and have a little play um and maybe just get rid of this for a second and get the uh chilton and metropolitan and jubilee station in first and because they're going to be coming out here and hooked up to here what i might do once i've done those stations it's going to be a bit of a challenge getting all three of these in because they're all kind of different heights and they go under and over each other so it's going to be a bit of a challenge what i'm thinking is this has got the, the eventually this has got to come around and meet here but i want to put if i can wrap this make this a little bit straighter coming off here maybe or just worm it a little bit to the left i want to put both at least one of the wembley's here because we've also got like, there's Chilton line that goes across here and then there's like I'm so close like between Wilson Junction and this one here somewhere this is obviously a lot bigger in, there's a bigger space in real life there's even another couple of stations in between Harrow and Wilston and, and, and Queen's Park here but there's bigger space and there's also like two stations there's sort of you've got Wembley Park and then Wembley Station here that kind of crosses here and that's the Chilton line split some goes off this way some goes off this way so i've got to see once i've built this and maybe first i'll build wembley parkway i believe which services the met and the jubilee and i think the chilton as well then we'll and then there's a split sometime after this it all depends on how big this gets and how big this gets and linking that to this obviously there's a vast amount of tube stations in between that and this so to get them in but what i was worried about is the Met wasn't stopping anywhere until long past um, Northwick Park. As you can see, it bypasses Northwick Park. And what you also have is I think you have two different metropolitan services as well. I need to go and look at the service like something uh, like a service map and just look at the stops because I believe 
what happens here is after Wembley Park, it, the, the station's pretty big and it splits off. And you've also got a great big uh, underground, um, London Underground tube servicing depot here. Whether we do something like we did in Wilson Junction up here as well, remain to be seen. Might be a fair bit. I'm also toying with the fact that once I've done this, it's building some sort of replica or some sort of homage to uh Wembley station Wembley stadium sorry and having that and then even plopping another town right in the middle here just a small one a tiny one in here so we can get all these lines hooked up and then maybe doing a bus service from like South Hempstead to West Hempstead just a, a direct bus service between the two so we can get passengers using both this is why it's a shame that I can't get a decent curved raised station here because I think like I can see how this all works in real life and I can see this being really heavily used to switch from these lines to these lines as well. It gets people on these as well. And then we've also got the um, this service as well, which is a uh, Southern Trains, which is what Watford Junction to East Croydon as well, which I think would also get some more use. I think now eventually as we build the line down here, we will get more uses on that. My main objective is to get this in use and so maybe you can get some trains, some uh, Met trains turning back on this. Also, after Wembley, the Jubilee line buggers off up here somewhere as well, which I've got to decide how far I want that to go because I also have to be very wary of uh, putting King's Cross and Pancras in somewhere here and where that goes. And the, what, I think once I put a couple of main lines in, that's kind of why I did this one as well, the Chilton, is because once I get a couple of main lines in and their direction, we get a better idea of what we can do with sort of the, the, the more local services as well um, and what kind of space we have. Here, I've left this for Paddington. I've also, when I, when I was, you probably noticed when I was doing Wilson Junction, I noticed that those lines that come out of Paddington come across here. That's why I built this bridge and lowered this the services the surfaces terrain a little bit more because i did notice that the those lines sort of gonna it's a bit i mean they do come reasonably close to the west west coast main line but we're gonna do some crazy rapage here out of paddington i believe unless i angle paddington a little bit more but i really don't because i quite like the idea of the, that angle where it sits in with london i've added a few more roads uh what i also did is we have got a metropolitan line train going up and down here it's got no it's, again because of the space i've added st john's wood but that'll be the only station between here and when it resurfaces again over here and i have also regions park is another one regions park has become baker street originally i wasn't really when i first built sort of the tube like the first parts of our tube network i didn't realize even though I've been to London a million times and I know how busy Baker Street Station was, I guess I wasn't aware of what stations and what lines I was going to put in. And once I realized I was going to put the Met in, I realized that Baker Street might be quite important. So we've done our own version, but it's still called Regent's Park. I am trying to encourage London to build this way as well, if you haven't noticed. Um, but under here is a fair bit of a maze, and I'll show you in a second. Because um, what we've got going in here is obviously the Jubilee and the Met come in here, but then they split off. And obviously the Jubilee goes down to Bond Street down here and the metropolitan line obviously heads off to euston square that way so what and then we've also got obviously coming down this way if we wanted to is the hammer Simpson city and the circle lines which i never think will i don't think we'll get circle line in because i think it's gonna to be too tight and too busy but i thought we'd get at least maybe the hammersmith and city line and the met in there anyway so i might rename regents park to baker street um simply because let's take a look no wrong one uh tracks there we go so what we've done here is the great thing about the underground stations is you can link them all together because they have uh, like uh, steps on them that allow you to link all the underground stations together so we've got a bit of a maze here so we've got basically our jubilee line splits off that way and then our metropolitan line stations here and obviously we've also got here the bakerloo which crosses as well and yet the Jubilee goes off to Bond Street here. So it's a bit of a maze, but it's the best we can do with what we've got. But they are all linked and they all act as one great big station. You can see we've got the tendrils here. So they all link into each other. We I put an extra uh, set of steps here, which kind of, they're kind of in rough positions of where like the stations would be. Obviously with Baker Street, you can like, it's a little bit, you know, you can see Baker Street from the surface. It is, uh, how can I put it, exposed. So you can see it, um, but obviously it would look a bit ridiculous if I sort of dug down on this 
because it, the game can't won't just won't allow us to do anything fancy like that the other option is i could have done a submerged normal station and submerged it in and built around it with some with some pretty assets but again depending on how low i can go we can end up hitting water and then end up with uh, this sort of beach effect as well and how much of that i could have covered up with uh, different assets and bits and bobs was, remains questionable and the way messing with terrain and that is just going to get a little bit messy so i thought we'd leave it as an underground station for now and then see how it goes in the future so regions park forward slash baker street is kind of there and obviously we're all linked up to the uh the underground's all linked up to marleybourne as well so and which is good i've done a little side entrance here within london underground on marleybourne or marleybone um so it's quite nice and we've got a front one as well so that underground station works perfectly and hopefully london as we feed it industry i'm trying to encourage it to build this way a little bit more i'm trying to put some roads in for it and put the stations but adding the stations and the travel seems to help we've got no no jubilee yet because there's not enough stations i do need to have a look at what i've done under here if we have a look is i've split the tracks here i wasn't sure what happened with the lines here so i split them off like this i i haven't got any sort of underground map um for the sort of the jubilee trains to stop at st john's wood and the and the met to sort of bypass it and this is what i was on about i couldn't see many stations where the met actually stopped that so i've done that until then this met train does stop here and just turns back until we've built the rest but that's what i've done so far drop in the comments if you've got any suggestions um i have run into a problem with one of my mods it appears that i can no longer add any custom track to any platform whether that be a vanilla station or a modded station so i'm really it's really irritating me so i have spent most of the the past few days trying to fix it and going through mods and removing them and wondering which one is conflicting with them so today what i'll be doing is which will really annoy me is we'll be able to lose the third rail um up until the station platform then i'm going to have to use electric overhead um just to keep the track electrified uh, for the for at least the jubilee on the on the platform which is just going to irritate me it's going to be an eyesore for me because i like things as just um and then we can carry on with the third rail outside but for whatever reason none of my uh, modded tracks are working with any of my platforms and it's been an absolute nightmare what we will do is because i've been playing with this i'm probably going to delete all this and what i will probably do is build the two stations that we need first and leave the third one um alone for a little while because it's gonna have it's gonna it's, it's sort of like so this this comes out there's also finchley park here as this exits i'm not gonna build it but what i am gonna do is i'm gonna build the lines and then i'm also gonna i'm, all, I'm almost gonna build a fake station here they're just gonna pass through it just because i like the way like when you're looking on google maps i like the way the trains come out of here and i think it's really cool so if i can do some sort of detailing assets and get that sort of replicating that how they come out and how they submerge maybe a little covering with some assets or something we'll we'll do that we'll see what we can do build some sort of like pre something pretty there um so what i want to do is i'm going to kind of keep these at this height here because i need as much give as i can once i get here anyway i'm going to stop blabbering on as per usual i hope you've enjoyed the episode so far please remember to like and subscribe um if you do uh, enjoy the content i've thoroughly enjoyed this series so far and thank you very much for the support so far as well i've said so far so many times so far um but thank you i really appreciate it let's get building okay so what we have here is we we have three stations we have this 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 one here which is uh servicing the london overground and when i highlight it, it says what for junction london euston but it, that's not not where it goes i don't think or does it does it wrap back around oh actually i believe it does um and then and then we have the another one here this is this one here and what happens with this platform is we have the station here and then it wraps over the top of this track the problem is is then this station like i've done here goes over the top of the next one which is the thames link uh train services <laughs> this is gonna be wild so what i'm gonna do is is i'm gonna keep this line and get the other two lines up to this height and keep them at this height around here and build the first station i'm gonna delete this i'm gonna delete all this and the thames link sort of service station i might just leave till last and get these two in and then work with that another day so this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna get all this deleted it was fun it was a fun practice it was a little bit too deep though Right, we're gonna have a meltdown now. There it is. 
Delete, 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 get back, get back, get back. Lovely. That should be enough space there for me to play with. Okay. Let's get this ground leveled. And then what we want to do first is get this line, line round uh, tracks, high speed, no catenary. We kind of wanted this about there. Is that about right? Yeah. About there on the level still. That's quite nice. That's nice. And then you come around. Is that, is that come out just right? It has, hasn't it? Oh, that's insanely good. Right, okay. And then we're going to build. So then what we've got here, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the station based off that. Right, it's kind of just a normal... Uh, what are we going to go for here? And we're going to go 160. It's a reasonably long station. High speed, continuing no for this one. Actually, you don't have... Okay. Okay. So this one doesn't have anything. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to build this. And then I'm going to edit it. And then we're going to have to... Because this, these, like, these don't stop here. I'm just using it as a base. So we're going to get rid of this. So we've got so we've got two lines passing through. So we've got no, yeah, we've literally got nothing. No platform. What I do want is, do I want a little bit of space between? No, there's literally no space between them either. So what we got here is we need to go to third round. It's not going to work, is it? I'm going to give it a whirl just in case, but I don't think it will. Nope, there we go. Internal error. I can't. It's really, really sad. I'm really going about it. It's also making the machine go have a heart attack. Ooh. So we're going to have to go high speed. Why have I got so much high speed? High speed tracks with continuity. There we go. So just to keep things electrified, I'm going to have to go like this. And then another track here. And then we have our platform. King's Cross. Did I go King's Cross Modern for this? Yes, I did. Like so. Double this up. And then we have two lines the other side and that is pretty much it as a base high speed with continuity. so basically what happens here is your jubilee stop and the met goes past and so does the so does the um we've also got a road to go straight across the top of this oh this is gonna be interesting right so does sorry so does the uh so the Jubilee stops, the Chiltern lines go past, and the Jubilee and the Metropolitans go past. So they're on the outside. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link. So what, do I build this first or do I build the... See, the big question is here, I reckon, because the, the actual entrance to the station is on a bridge above it. I don't think I'm going to get away with that. I'm just going to build the exit of this. I'm going to leave that station as it is for now, because that's I'm happy with that, the way that is. So we've got these come out. And then we have, and then we need to go to our third rail. Right, these come out with each other here. And then a little bit further, because I need a little bit more space. Oh, no, you, you can stay like that. Then these come across like so. And then there's a little bit of oh and there's a siding in between we're not gonna get that in there that's like a, there's a turnaround siding i wonder i wonder if there's some trains maybe turn around here do we, do we add that yeah let's add that i'm gonna i'm not i'm gonna add it for like for for fakeness because we're not gonna actually uh use it i don't think so it goes like this and goes like uh, that and then that comes in so that that makes that a little bit less extreme i guess and like so and this is where it gets interesting so what we have to have here we need high speed because then it turns all right let's begin to turn this so we're going to use this one as our base like so uh, and then we have a yeah, this is going to be tight. Let's go back to high speed. All right, let's see if we can get you. All right, I'm going to leave that light. I can, I can deal with that in a minute. Is that going to go across? No. 
So that's going to be... We're going to have to go four here, I think. From about here. I see the angles. The angles, this bridge is so big. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna layer this up because I know I'm gonna run into a problem because we've got a multitude of tracks joining this. Luckily, they're kind of all separated. Uh third. Yeah, this is how we're gonna have to do this. Uh good. So we've got these. Wait, so the two, yeah, these two closest birds, these go off like that. And then these. What I need to do is here is do that. And that. And these cross. These these two actually cross totally separately, but they're going to go over as a pair because that's just insane. And then we have our high speed. They also cross. They kind of don't cross together. What do we do with this? Can I get them really... If I... Right. Get start again here. If I press C. Like that. Because they, they kind of do go on their own. Like that. Yes. Lovely. I like it. Let's see what this looks like with the girder on it though. Can I do all that? They kind of cross each other a little bit. Yeah. Maybe. Looks a bit ugly, doesn't it? Kind of sharing too much space there okay maybe like that that's better and then you can just look into there and then you can just join your little friend there lovely that was so much better than my practice run i'm not sure about this bridge i might come back to this and that looks all right it's kind of two bridges but one as long as they're the same height, and then we've got the other track going underneath it. I can deal with that. Yes, and then we can bend off here and get Wembley in here. And I think we might even get the other line going off that way. We'll see, though. What I need to do is back this off, and that needs to connect to that. And do we keep that station on that level? That's the question. Does this come up? Does this go down and up? I think it does. I think this comes up. What have we got here? We've got one line crossing, which I can remember. So if we bring that back, tracks, continuary, yes. All right, how did this go? I can't even remember how this changed. I think this came in. And then that came out. For that, right? Something like that. And then that round to that. And then we had a switch there, which should enable all those to go through. Okay, and then we can build this station about here. That, I, I'm still not entirely happy with that angle. Oh, it does bend. It does. Where's the where's the track from? Kind of bend a little bit here. So it kind of does that. If I can get this ev up ever so slightly, that'd be quite nice. Yeah. Lovely. I'm happy with that there. So then we can build this station on the sort of slightly the same level. Maybe we'll do it a little bit lower so we don't have so much of a... Maybe that. And that can go let's do that and it's a little is it complete it's dead it's almost before holy right and this could be slightly smaller station so we're going to stick with the same one at 120 about there that's going to be a steep hill isn't it right uh continuary yes and then we will plug that in is that all right that's that a bit of a, oh, it's an ugly old maybe if we back this off here and then we'll get this in properly that's a better better slope better angle right i think there's some track under here that it's not got it not electrified yet there, is. there we go we also need to add a little switch here for now yeah get on get on it Adds a signal for that. Just to get that, keep that train going. Why have I got so many signals? Yes, one way. Gosh. Right, where's that line? 
Where's that little train? He's going to be a little bit lost now. Bless him. West Hempstead. Control C. We're going to link these together. Off. Add. Bosh. There we go. What we do need to do is get these on the level here. So what I need to do is third rail. I want to make some space for this. This is going to be our fate Finchley Park. So that comes out there. So let's go to track third. One, two, three. Because I'm going to do a fair... I want to get that, that fake station, fake Finchley Park in here. And I want that to connect to that one. Too much slope. Too much slope. What? Right, do we have to back this off a little bit? There we go. Yeah, because then I can build all that round that. That'd be nice. Uh, what tunnel? I have something a little bit squarer for this because I'm going to sort of build around it. Yeah, maybe that. Let's go for that. Bosh. Right, we've got four lines here. Right, we can delete this. Are we on the... Have I, made, have I built the right track here? Is this third rail? Yeah, it's... Right, in you go. Pop you in there. Actually, do I want these spread? Yes, I do. Because mm. there's fake platforms in between. <gasps> oh. So, delete you. So we've got the two in the middle and two on their own. So we have a gap here. I'm just going to put a, a rail. One. One and two. These are going to come out slightly separately as well, aren't they? Wrap you. Yeah. This is going to be... This is going to be terror bad. Wrap. Okay. Around you go. You're going to connect now? No, of course you're not. Naughty. Okay, so let's see what this does. One, two, then build this. And delete the ones in between. If this has a meltdown. No, that's good, that's good, yes. And then one. Wrap you around to that. Hmm, that's a sharp old bend, isn't it? Let's um, back this up a little bit more. All right, so you, there, really doesn't matter. You, oh God, oh God, oh, are you connected? Of course you're not, there you are. There, up alongside, and then one, two, I don't, yeah. Three. Round we go. What's that look like? Nice. And then you just work your way into that. Lovely. Lovely. Because what we can do here is I can do a little bit of do some retaining walls, some fake platforms in between these. And a little bit of roofing for this middle bit because this, this middle one has kind of a, a little bit of a roof over it that look quite nice and then we can just run these you into there you into there you out to there and you oh that's a sharp turn isn't it but that looks all right into there lovely i can deal with that I can deal with that. So the Met goes zooming past and the Jubilee stops there. And then we've got our Euston to Watford Junction mini line stops there. And I think that loop, I think that reconnects with this somehow. I think that loops back in there because it doesn't go, this doesn't go to Euston. It doesn't because that's this one. And that connects into this one somewhere. And it, I think it gets in caught up in the 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 amazing junction that is outside St Pancras I think I can't remember right that was actually not that bad I thought this was going to be a lot harder I know I've got to add the next one 
here that's going to be a little bit lower and then it goes underneath this one that goes that way but it wasn't as bad as i thought it was i'm quite happy with that let's see what we can do with the road see that's oh my days it goes over that it goes over this one then over that one straight over that platform this road i'm not sure how we're gonna i think the plate platform entrance is gonna be on this there's a mini road here as well i think what we're gonna do oh i don't know do we do invisible oh let's have a look see what we've got here extended overpass do we do invisible platform and then ground stairs oh actually do we do these ground stairs and then that needs to be platform stairs oh dear that's going to change that so we can't have that oh should i have oh, should i've gone nl platforms then for this maybe i should have i could just if i no that's ground stairs so that's going to remove the platform completely maybe i should have just gone nl i mean i can just do this and then i could just if i add seating and everything i could change the platform yeah i think we have to go nl so we want some ticket machines yeah it's gonna be it's gonna have to be nl ticket machines and then a couple of benches all the way to the end because they are on that one and then we can add a roof yeah it's gonna have to be like that uh and then we need some sort of oldish kind of roof on this but i think it might have to be this it's kind of gray yeah and it doesn't go all the way up it just leaves that like that and then we've got we've got this road this is gonna be yeah we, we've um we've got a problem we've got a height problem we're gonna have to do it our own way that that platform does stay more submerged it must do and then come up to go over that one it must do yeah that looks quite there's there's a big height differentiation um because this is kind of mm, i don't know right we'll add it we'll add this uh that's a bit too high that's still not high enough let's start that again actually so one two three and then i swear it's one two three four no all good five we add this one here we add in just a, a girder and then we're going to go straight across this and i think i'm going to try and yeah it's going to it's going to drop anyway slightly yeah it's i think we're going to have that maybe not quite as much but we're going to have it on a slope a little bit and then i'm going to leave that space after it i'm going to do that leave that space after it because have a look and we do have a road that comes down here i'm going to put that as a small one and we're going to bring that down as much as we can Ooh. i think so i think we're going to have to have a road here and then level that off is that level why is that not level why can't you be level a level that's level like so and then what we'll have to do is maybe i'll smooth this and then we'll add we'll go to this i'm gonna leave this road dead here because i want to add the other station in i gotta work it out we need to add a oh so we've got stairs here so we can on this one we could probably get away with keeping the so passenger buildings we've kind of got oh what are these these subterranean ones or something yeah no, we don't want those we don't want those what we will have is small main building here so i'm getting errors all over the place and then is this a small side building without entrance here and here that'd do nicely and then we have a little bit of covering around the stairs so do we have we go to the king's cross actually i think we've got like some sort of escalatory style buildings so if we can have these can we not can we can they face the other way no why are they facing that way how do you get them to face the other way have we got others that face the other way why don't we have others that face the other way that's the same that's a shame so maybe we'll go for these then 
I'm not actually sure if there's elevators, but these were the escalators over that. And then we'll have a couple of benches here and here and here. And then we need some roof. We've got modern roof here. It's not really, it's kind of got a white roof, but it's not really oh, it's modern as that as that modern goes, but that actually looks quite nice because it is white. We'll just have that like that. All right, and then what I'm going to add here is some path. I'm going to link this up with some path. So what I want to do is I want to smooth this a little bit. And even though they're not this close because there's like buildings in between these, I'm never going to get that in. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start by adding some path. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe add some fake buildings around here. Uh, connect this road up somewhere. Get some buses going between. And then maybe I'll get a Jubilee train just going up and down there for a little bit. Connecting these two. So let's add a bit of a bit of path to this if we do this and then this and then just that along there like that that way we've connected both stations together with a little bit of path there and then i can add some more road maybe put a little mini bus stop here that kind of that road kind of expands out anyway so oh then there's a big what's that there's a, a home base here, so we can maybe add one of our assets there and add a little bit of shopping as this splits away. So we will extend this road. We'll, we'll make it, we'll extend it to a slightly bigger road. Stay level. We'll have a bus lane, we'll have a bus stop. And that'll be quite nice. Actually, let's see if we can add a little one way. I don't like these small one ways because they're never that... Like... They're never that nice. R never really a fan of them. I prefer the two ways, but they're just they're, but the problem is, is they're just not bigger. Like this, you know, the small, the small little. These are just tiny. That's felt one way lane towns. So I just, but they're good for little side bus stops. But they're just tiny. Uh, bus lane. Yes, there we go. They're just tiny. Is that gonna? If I put a bus stop in there. We got any? Oh, what are these? Yeah, we put a little covered bus stop in there. That's too far away. Oh, that's because it's not connected. So we'll put a little bit of path up here and into this. Is that, is that close enough for everything? Yeah, lovely. Beautiful. So then we're gonna we can have some shopping areas here and expand that out when we do some detailing. Obviously, we've got to put this other line in at some point. Uh, let's see how low. While we're here, we'll see how low we can get the terrain. Oh, that's actually not bad going. So we might be all right. That terrain level, because we've because we came in higher, we might get away with that there. So we'll leave that like that for now. We'll get that built. Um, why well, do it? Yeah, so the idea is is maybe I'll either come back with another episode and we'll expand, we'll build this station, or we'll come back and build Wembley. And then I'll come back and detail this and in and around uh Marleybourne either later on. I just want to get the, all the stations and the platforms in. So there we go guys. Uh, West Hempstead has begun. We get ready to go on to Wembley Park.